Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Nintendo 3DS, a handheld by Nintendo. Now, I purchased this thing a few days ago for about 150 bucks. The price has really gone down because Nintendo hasn't really done much with it, so there were actually quite a few 3DSs in the used bin at my local GameStop. And another GameStop I called had so many, they actually had one of the original ones in every single color, including the newest one, purple. So basically, let's take a look at the hardware and find out why it's not doing that well. Now, first off, on the front here you have a headphone jack. This is just a headphone jack, so if you purchase a DS headset, you can't use it. Not like you need it, though, because Mario Kart 7, the one game I own that has online, since I only own that game for it. It doesn't use voice chat. And you also, the online mode sucks. I'll probably review that in another video, but on the front here you've got the two 3D cameras and the camera light. Up here you have a light which tells you if you've street passed somebody. You've got your bumpers up here, an infrared port, stylus, game, thing, charger port. I currently have Mario Kart 7 in here, but you can actually fit any DS games as they take the same cartridge type. There's just a little notch up here to keep you from inserting it into an original DS. Over here you got an SD card slot, volume slider, um, wireless on and off switch. You might want it off though if you're on a trip or something. Because honestly, this thing will kill your battery. And yeah, power light, charger light, open it up. You've got this stupid analog nub, why they didn't have an actual analog stick is a, is a dumb reason. You've got this D-pad which is clicky and annoying because it's in an awkward position. You've got these A, B, X, Y buttons which click but don't feel as good as they do on a PSP Go. Power switch and the start, select, and home which are on a little thing kind of like those old touch buttons they used to have on you know like the PS3 except this one's a physical switch. So yeah, let's turn the thing on. Zoom in here and have it focus. Now when you first turn the thing on after it's been off, it takes a while to turn on, kind of like a PSP Go, but once it's on, the whole thing is kind of clunky. Now, first thing now, I'll turn the volume up. Just like the Wii, it plays some stupid song in the menus. On the top screen, it just displays an image of some random stuff, kind of like on the DSi, as far as I know, except I don't have a DSi, but I've, I've played a friend's DSi. You can move the stick around on the bottom interface, which looks kind of like a Wii menu, and then you can select the games you want to play. For example, Mario Kart 7, it has a feature which tells you that warning the system will give you headaches and shit, a really crappy camera, some mp3 player which I haven't tried, and a bunch of other gimmicks. So let's talk about the games. Now, to properly show off the power of the system, one of the games that was being hyped was Metal Gear Solid 3D. So to start the review off, I'm going to show you gameplay footage of this. I'm going to review Mario Kart 7 in another video, so let's just start the game off. And as you can see, the first stupid things with the system starts coming up. Demos are have uses remaining. I kid you not, with this thing you can't have demos that aren't locked for so many uses. So let's talk about Metal Gear Solid. Now, I'm going to say this, I never really play Metal Gear Solid much, it's mostly just a movie, but let's see how well this movie runs on a 3DS, when it loads that is. First problem, shitty frame rate. As you can see right now, it's already got a shitty ass frame rate. It's like running like a slideshow. I mean, you can probably see it on there, but... Sorry the camera isn't that good of quality, but as you can see it's running like a slideshow when it when I start the game.
Now keep in mind the PS2 version didn't run like this, nor does the Vita version. The Vita version runs at 60 FPS. As far as I know, from what I've seen in gameplay footage. Look, right now it's really noticeable. The frame rate is crap. Mario Kart 7 also had some FPS dips. Keep in mind, this system came out last year, and it's trying to compete with smartphones in the PlayStation Vita. The PSP, which came out in 2004, as far as I can tell, has better graphics. I'm just going to run through here, and as you can see, look, the frame rate is just bad. Nope. I'm gonna stop this now. I'm gonna stop this now to save you time, and I'm just gonna show you some of the other stuff. First off, the camera. The camera is horrendous. Probably far worse than the camera I'm filming this with. Even though the camera I'm filming this was cheap, this can take videos and pictures in 3D. But you see, it's a gimmick because the quality is absolutely horrendous. As you can see here, there is, um, the cam might not be able to see it so well on the camera, but there's pixelating everywhere. And when you turn on the 3D mode, kaboom, it starts to look yellow all of a sudden. Maybe it might just be my 3DS, but I don't even know. Either way, it looks absimal. And when you move it, the whole thing just starts to jitter a little bit when you're trying to take 3D pictures, so it can be annoying sometimes. And you take a picture, it takes like... It took a, quite a while. When I took pictures in the GameStop and stored them to system memory, it takes forever to take pictures. So, you're probably using an SD card if you have a 3DS because they sell them with 2 gig SD cards, and I'm using it one with now, but seriously, the camera quality blows. And now, I'm going to talk about the eShop. <laughs> Alright, the eShop is bad. In comparison to the PSP store, where Sony put most of their games up, and most of the library of the PSP up on their store, this has nothing. Nintendo doesn't even have all their games up on the store. So you take a look here, and what do you see? Um, Cave Story. Pokemon Dream Radar, when I mean, Cave Story is on every platform. Pokemon Dream Radar, which is some, some pointless, gimmicky spin-off game. Casual games, casual games, recommended. And casual games and re-releases. So Super New Super Mario Brothers 2. That's their only Nintendo game on the eShop. The rest of them aren't on it. So um, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at uh. There's all, there's like no demos on the marketplace. There's only like five or six compared to the 60, 70 on the Sony PS Sensor. So let's take a look at coming soon to Nintendo eShop. Nope, not much. So let's take a look at uh best sellers. What's best selling on the system? Oh, casual, casual re-releases in casual. Oh, and by the way, did you know that Cut the Rope is actually five bucks on the 3DS, but it's like three on the cell phone or maybe a buck? And there's some stupid basic program. Why should I do that when you can hack a PSP and do more? Virtual Console. There's only Game Gear, Game Boy, and, of course, NES. That's all there is. And the battery life is horrible. You know, you get more battery life out of this thing than the 3DS because the 3DS has horrible battery life. It gets worse battery life than my cell phone. And, and you, know how you know how cell phones get bad battery life? When this is getting worse battery life than an average cell phone, that's just pathetic. And of course, if you go to search, you won't be able to find much. So, like, let me show you. Search. Uh, actually, you gotta tap here to search for publisher and stuff. Um, publisher. I hate this user interface. It's god awful. It's designed for. It's like it's designed for 
um, you know, finger touch, but you're using a stylus to control it. You know, remember, you know how when people hacked Windows Mobile 6.5, there was that stupid user interface that came with it? Yeah. This is what it's like. It sucks. Why can't it be like a Palm Pilot or an old Windows Mobile? Not like this stupid touch crab. I know I might be nitpicking a little, but seriously, it's annoying. So, you've got a whole bunch of games that are marked as retail only game. Retail only game. You seriously got all these games that are just retail only, like you're supposed to go out to a store and buy them. They can't even put them on their own eShop. When they can't even put it on their own eShop, that says something about system. And it doesn't help that whenever you go to a game store, you only see DS games and not 3DS games. It's like you're paying all this much money. And then you can't even get games for it because you can only find DS games. It's like if you bought a 360, but when it first came out, like, say a year or two after it came out, you know, when they were making all these 360 games. Imagine if in 06 or 07, all you could find were Xbox original games. Because that's what it's like owning a 3DS. It sucks. And now let's talk about backwards compatibility. First off, let's talk about what you can't do on here. Picto chat won't work. Neither will flip note. Remember that old thing everybody with the DSI owned? That won't you can't get that on here yet. And another thing that will not work? Importing. Importing games will not work. So if you have Japanese games you legally own, you can't play them on here. Especially if they're 3DS games. You can't even use a flash card or an action replay to get past the region locking because, you see, Nintendo won't let you because they feel the need to sell more games and stuff than to just let you import games early. So, for example, this legally bought copy of Pokemon Black won't work here. Let me show you. Now, anybody know, now with 3DS, you can put games in and they will pop up in the menu instantly. Like, let me remove Mario Kart 7. And now I'm going to put in Pokemon Pearl. As you can see, it pops right up. Now, let's put in Japanese Pokemon White. As you can see, it's not working because it's region locked. Same with an action replay. If you don't download the patch to use it with 3DS, it won't work. And keep in mind, both of these will work fine on a regular purchased Nintendo DS. In fact, I'm just going to pop in. This is a USA DS right here. It says here, um, if you can't see it, um, NTR-001-CNTR-USA-1 And looky here It plays on here, as you can see I'm playing Pokemon White on the original DS Which you can't do on a 3DS On American DS, plays it can the 3DS do it? Nope. This is stupid. But now back on to backwards compatibility. Your DS games luckily will play on in there on your 3DS. And they will play in amazing upscaled resolution. So they're all being upscaled to your 3DS's screen. And you can use the analog knob. But unlike 3DS games, you can't pause them and go to the menu. Press the home button. Close the software and return to the home menu. So yeah, you can't do that. It's just... So backwards compatibility will run all your original DS games though, but it will not run imports that are DSi imports and flashcards. So basically, 
If you want to use those, you're best sticking with your original DS. Doesn't help that most flashcards can't even that no flashcards can even do 3DS homebrew, so it's no real use. And let's talk about a few more things. The online in this sucks. From what I played in Mario Kart 7, it's laggy, and of course, there's no voice chat. There's a notification thing on the bottom screen, which tells you about stupid stuff from Spot Pass, saying, download this, send notes, swap notes, blah blah blah, you know. The stupid stuff, the tutorial stuff. And there's a web browser which blows because I opened up websites on my PSP and my PSP actually loaded it quicker. That's pathetic. There's a little friends list which is kind of like a dumbed down version of a 360 friends list and it uses friend codes. Only one friend code but still. It uses a friend code. Just wow, you thought Nintendo would have learned but apparently they haven't fully learned yet. And of course there's a thing that lets you take notes in games, along with a brightness option to let you change power. So, all in all, what do I think of the system? In the end, it's just a marked up PSP. You could go out to GameStop and buy a PSP for less money and have a lot more fun. Because PSPs are only 50 bucks used at GameStop and you can get them for like 100 new on Amazon. So why are you, aren't you gaining a PSP? Because the PSP has more games than the 3DS, and it also look has better graphics. And if you wanted to, you could easily hack it and play all your favorite old games like um, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, um, PS1, Game Boy Advance. You can't do that on the 3DS Virtual Console. All in all, final verdict, 3DS is a waste of money. Just like most of the, just like most Nintendo stuff nowadays, don't buy it. Give your money to the companies that actually make good gaming systems, and not garbage like the Nintendo 3DS. And just for the record, this system has been out for a year and a half, and there's still no games on it. In fact, when I went to the GameStop, the guy behind the counter said to pre-order Adventure Time. When the guys at GameStop are telling you to pre-order licensed games, you know a system's pathetic. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and yeah, expect some 3DS game reviews like Mario Kart 7, Sonic Generations, Pokemon Rumble Blast.